What up, my fellow Knicks fans? This is your guy, Marcellus Ease, and don't panic quite yet. You know, as time goes on, things become more glaring of what really happened between KP and the New York Knicks as it all came down to timing. The timing was off between his contract extension and him getting an ACL injury as it kind of clouded both parties' judgment on what moves to make. Now, it seems like KP was very uncomfortable going through his ACL recovery while not having any guarantees. And it kind of made it awkward for him to kind of focus on that. As even Mark Cuban stated that he didn't like where he was at in his recovery mode. And that may be due to the Knicks having the chance to save about $10 million by not extending him. And also trying to figure out what they were trying to do with bad contracts that they currently had on their team. Especially with Joakim Noah getting rid of his deal. Saving cap space by not extending KP. And then the summer of 2019 where there was going to be a lot of free agents available. But KP expressed some of his sentiments of what really went down during his recovery. You guys check it out. Right. So you were traded uh, in this process of you really recovering. You were still recovering. You were still getting, you know, trying to get back onto the court. How did it affect you having to uh, deal with everything you were dealing with as far as recovery and then being traded uh, over here to Dallas? Yeah, no, it was not easy. As I said, uh, it was just uh, the... The circumstances for my rehab weren't perfect. And no circumstances he's talking about is actually not having enough evidence for the Knicks to actually extend him for that max deal. You see, the problem is the Knicks were in a situation where they could save money and also at the same time, the qualifying offer that they only qualified to give KP was only $4.5 million, which the year before he made more money than that. So it was either the Knicks had two choices, either give him less money or just give him the full extension without even knowing how he was going to be like after his ACL recovery. And this was this was a lot of pressure on KP while going through this recovery of trying to figure out whether he should just take the qualifying offer or or go for the max deal, which the Knicks weren't trying to do at all. So it was it was just an awkward situation for both parties. And, but I, I got the job done. I did everything I was supposed to, came in every day, and no matter what my mood was, you know, I tried to stay positive throughout the whole rehab process. Um, yeah, it's it's tough to stay positive like that because, like, once again, the Knicks don't really have enough evidence to say, okay, he deserves this five-year, $157 million deal because three seasons in, he hasn't even played – he only played one game in the month of April, three seasons in, you know, it's just the health factor. You haven't really seen him healthy throughout a whole season. You don't even know if he can really even carry a team. And then KP is good, but what has he really even proven in being in the league? So it's like I said, like I said, it's a real awkward situation for both parties to be in, especially with that qualifying offer because KP he could have qualified for a seven point five million dollar qualifying offer, but because he was out for that 2017-2018 season, he didn't qualify for it no more. So the Knicks, the only way to test him out was by giving him that $4.5 million qualifying offer, and then KP would play for them for an extra year while then becoming an unrestricted free agent. So all around, it was just it's, it's real awkward. Stayed very focused. Uh, had but good days, had terrible days, but I pushed through it. And, and then on top of that, we had, you know, all the trade and, and all that kind of stuff on the on the outside going on and um, but I, st I stayed uh, I stayed focused throughout the whole thing you know it's things that happen and 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 it was it was almost like a fresh start for me you know to get to this place um, where they welcomed me with open arms uh, great circumstances great environment great energy and that's because they have no choice. No, no disrespect to the Dallas Mavericks. They struggle to get free agents. You see even DeAndre Jordan change his mind. They had no choice but to take a chance on KP right here. This contract is still a risky contract. There's, there's not enough evidence to say KP deserves this type of money that he can carry a team even, even while being healthy on the court. Like I said, he's almost four years in, and he's only played one game in the month of April. And I was able to continue my, my rehab and... and, and and it actually made things a lot easier. Why did you mention that your rehab before the trade wasn't ideal? And this and this is a reference towards the Knicks. Uh, it was just the circumstances, you know. It's uh, 
not not it just wasn't it just wasn't um it just wasn't ideal you know but as i said you know we we we're doing the we're doing the rehab as the best we could and he's not lying about that like i said it was an awkward situation all the way around just to recap basically he tore his acl 10 months later the knicks had to give him either a, a major rookie extension or the qualifying offer that they can give him was going to be less money than he actually was making in that current season. So like I said, you know, it seems like both parties kind of was feeling a type of way after that, especially KP. It's always not good when a rookie, especially a star rookie of a team, doesn't really get an extension. It's always salty blood. You've seen that with the Philadelphia 76ers when they was on that tank mode. They lost Drew Holiday. They lost a lot of uh, good rookies like that. But... It is what it is. You know, KP is in a better situation in Dallas. It's good for him. Dallas took their chance on his contract. And once again, the Knicks, they were in limbo. They, they kind of had to free up bad contracts from the Phil Jackson era. They did also save $10 million by not extending KP for the following summer when there was going to be a lot of free agents. So all the way around, it was kind of bad timing. And just the ACL injury especially, it threw a lot of things off. But it is what it is. You guys let me know what you think. You guys stay safe. Peace.